Recently, I had a question about what is the Mother Ducker and how to best use it in your workflow. The Mother Ducker is a proprietary sidechain compressor inside of the MPC. And if you're new to audio, you may be asking, well, what is sidechain compression and when do I use it? So imagine this, we have, let's say, a kick and a bass, and they're both in the low end and they're sharing this confined space. If there's no way for them to communicate, they're going to collide with each other and what is referred to as the mix may sound muddy or there may be some frequency smearing or it's just it's not going to sound as clean and defined as it could be so the way the mother ducker or a sidechain compressor works is we have these two different audio elements in this case we're going to say the kick and the bass line now Every time the kick happens, it's going to send a signal over to the mother ducker or the side chain compression on the bass line saying, hey, every time I hit this level, I want you to turn down in volume so we're sharing this space so they're not conflicting or having any confrontation with each other through volume. So the side chain will be triggered from the kick. Once the kick goes up in volume, the bass will duck and they'll be able to both be heard within this confined frequency space. So let's jump onto the computer, check out how we can set up the mother ducker inside the MPC, go over all the different parameters of the mother ducker and see how we can use that to make elements more defined and share the space when we're mixing on the MPC. All right, so to check out how the mother ducker works, we have a very basic setup here on track number one. We simply have a kick. And with this track, we have a simple four by four pattern. And on track number two, we have a bass. And let's just lay down a very quick generic single note. As you can hear right now, there's no real interaction between the bass note and the kick drum. And this is where Mother Ducker comes in. So first thing we're gonna do is come over to the kick and we're gonna put the Mother Ducker directly on here. Now on the standalone, the quickest way to do that is hit the eyeball, make sure that you turn it into pad focus. And now we're on the pad A01, which is the kick. And we're gonna come in here to dynamics, go all the way down to the bottom and insert Mother Ducker input on there. As you can see right here on the screen, all it's doing is sending this kick sound to bus one. Now we want to go back to our main and let's go over to track two and go into the program. And now on this entire program, we want to go back into the dynamic section and put the mother ducker on the dynamic section. And if we take a look at the screen, here is what the mother ducker is going to look like. So first off, let's go over the parameters of the mother ducker and what each one does. Starting from the bottom left is the threshold. The threshold essentially says, hey, at what point am I going to listen to the kick drum and start reducing the volume? So if we just play, we can see there's gain reduction happening right here. And if we bring the threshold, all the way up, we're not listening at all to the kick coming in. But if we bring this down, we're gonna start seeing the gain reduction and we're gonna hear the pumping. If we go extreme all the way over to the left, that's when we start to hear, that's when we start to hear a lot of pumping. So the threshold is how much of the kick are we gonna to listen to? Moving up to the attack, the attack is how quickly is this compressor going to reduce the volume of the bass line when the kick hits. So if we take this and move it up, that means we have a slower attack, meaning it's gonna take longer for this compressor to reduce the volume. Now when we're doing, let's say, a kick to the bass line, it's really important to have a fast attack, and that way the transients of this kick drum can come through very quickly and compress the volume of the bass immediately. So there when we bring the attack as fast as possible, we can hear those transients punch through. 
Now the ratio is how much compression is happening. So we're gonna bring this all the way down to one to one. And as you see, we have a very small amount of compression. As we bring the ratio up, we're gonna see much more gain reduction to the point of just being extreme. So the ratio is how much gain reduction is happening when the compressor is compressing. Knee, typically I leave the knee alone. The knee is a curve on the compression setting. That's something for you just to mess around with and use your ears and see if it helps or doesn't help with your compression. So the release is how quickly after the volume reduction happens does the compressor stop working. So if we're playing this and we have a very high release, we'll see that the compressor essentially stays on the whole time. As we bring this release down, what's happening there is the compressor is being activated really quickly by the attack, reducing the volume by the ratio, and then stopping the gain reduction based on this millisecond. So you'll get more pumping somewhere around there. If you go too high, you're gonna not hear the effect as much. And if you go too low, essentially it's releasing so fast you're not hearing the effect at all either. And this is what's called makeup gain. Here it's listed as gain which means as we're compressing, we may lose some volume, so we may need to make it up. Typically on the Mother Ducker, you can just leave auto on, and it will do a very good job of making up the gain that you might have lost from this compression. So what you can see is if we bypass the Mother Ducker, there's no sort of dynamic interaction between the kick and the bass, and as soon as we turn this on, Now we're able to share that same frequency space between the kick and the bass. Every time the kick is happening, it's sending a signal to the bass line saying, hey, reduce your volume very quickly by this amount, and then when you're done, bring my full signal back by this amount, and if I lose a little bit of volume, I can just make up the volume right here. All right, I hope that helped you understand how to use the Mother Ducker inside of the MPC so you have a tighter, better sounding mix. Now it doesn't need to be only used on the low end. You can use it in any sort of scenario where you're sharing a frequency space, such as vocals and let's say guitar or piano. So every time the vocal gets above a certain threshold, it's gonna turn the volume down on the guitar or the piano so the vocal doesn't get lost. This will allow the vocal to pop out in the mix. So if you like this kind of content, please let me know in the comments below what other sort of questions you may have about working on the MPC or just audio production in general. We can cover any sort of frustrations you may have. Happy to do so. And on that note, thanks for your time. Thanks for your attention. Now go make something cool.